fundamental change, about really changing the systems that we work in. The good thing about it is that we have four school districts in the audience today participating on how we're going to move it collectively. And Greg, just to, to really go back a little bit and talk about the collective impact that we're trying to do, just the individuals in this room, if we do it right, if we really plan it, use our data, get our activities and strategies, and then we measure it to see what impact it's having, we're going to make a tremendous impact in San Antonio. I want to let you know that today, for part of the activities, my part today is to kind of walk you through some of the instructions of what we're going to be doing today. We have four school districts, and we have four facilitators. Gina, Elizabeth, myself, Alma, and Jacob. We're four of your facilitators, and if you notice, here are our titles, and here are the organizations that we uh, uh, work for. If you notice that we're neutral, we don't work for school districts, we're more on the what we call the private side. Of course, Gina works with State uh, Representative Mike Verrial. But the good thing about it is collectively, we do have experience in working with school districts, whether it's through policy, through academics, and like Jacob and uh, TG and I work for Educate Texas under a private foundation, we also work with individuals like you in different communities around the state of Texas to help with the funding, to help with capital resources, of course, human resources, to talk about policy changes. So today, the facilitators that are going to work with you are going to kind of sit back and listen to you have the conversations, but at the same time, to steal a little bit of Greg's thunder, we're also going to share some stories of different things that we have encountered in the various roles that we play. So real quickly, I wanted to sh walk you through a couple of things. I want you to write down your number. Harlandale, you're number three. And let me tell you a little bit of what we're going to do. In your folder, you're going to write your name on the outside of your folder to make sure that no one picks it up and takes it away. And then you write your number. Write your number right big because we're going to use it two times. That number's going to have some significance, and I'll tell you in just a little bit. Before we go there, I want to show you that I got Harlandale's ISD mission statement and district goals right off of your website. And I highlighted words like education, high quality education, all students, graduate, staff development, higher ed, workforce, practices, district resources, innovative industri in instructional facilities, needs, again, students, community involvement. I highlight those because it, it resonated that over and over again, your emphasis is focused on these individual components or what we call attributes of education. Northside, your number is two, so write it right outside of your uh, uh, folder. Look at the words that I've highlighted here. Committed, again, student. Children come first, excellent. Compete, future. Everyone shares responsibility, contribution, learn, quality, opportunity, challenge, learning, worth, resource, respect, and family and foundation. Again, attributes of what your belief statements are and the vision that you have in your district. San Antonio, you're number one. Transform, model, graduates, every child, gra educated, contributing member, community, improving, quality education, determination, <coughs> prepare, look at the word all, higher education, beliefs, commitments, and core values. Southwest, you're number four. We believe and we will achieve this vision by 2015. Now we have alignments to 2020. So we start talking about top national merit scholars, completion, on time graduates, daily attendance, retention, teamwork, confidence. Start talking about college and university graduates and graduation. The reason I share that with you is that just exactly what um, Pat was talking about, Patrick, you see the words that come together when we put it into a wordle? And in the world, it shows that the bigger the, the lettering or the bigger the word, the more times you all use this as a collective thought or a collective vision of what you're going to concentrate. So this kind of puts us all on the same wavelength. It also talks about the vision and mission of what we are. You're about success and readiness, about college, about teamwork and partners coming together. Parents is a big, big one. But look at the bigger ones, graduation, commitment, prepare, that students are very important, 
If you start looking at the smaller it was, of course, those were important, but the big ones, what brings us together in this room today, to understand that we have a vision and mission, and these are the attributes of what we're going to be focusing on. So here we go, the part about rolling up the sleeves. You know, it takes a village for all of us to come together. And Ira, I took this right off of your website also, that the San Antonio partners are growing. If you notice, all of the individuals, we have the private foundations that are coming in. I work for Educate Texas. You got the different universities. You have the school districts that are involved, people that are in the communities, community based, CBOs. You're talking about people in the health professions. So in essence, this initiative that we're working in together, you're not alone. You have a lot of people that are supporting the work that we're doing. And, that, and that's not all. As we develop our action plans, our strategy plans, and our matrix, these are the folks that we're going to go to to help us collect the data, analyze the data, be part of our partnerships, maybe even knock on their doors for funding, for human capital, for volunteerism. So these are the people that are already committed to this vision and mission of San Antonio 2020 and the Diplomas Project. So here we go. This is part one. If you notice that we have 90 minutes for this activity, probably we're going to cut it about 10 minutes, but it is a working lunch. As soon as we dismiss, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be going to different classrooms. This is classroom number one. As So number one, San Antonio, you stay here. Number two, we'll go down the hallway. Number three, we'll go down the hallway. Number four, we'll go down the hallway. And they have signs where your room is located. So what we're going to be doing is using your ISD framework, the one that you all brought together, using your data. We have a template that we're going to use your template to examine. Part one of the activity we're going to do is we're going to look at one or two strategies that can be modified or improved that will allow for the greatest benefit in re reaching your district's goals. The reason we share this with you is because now you've heard somebody else's data. You know what? Let's tweak our, our plan. We need to improve it this way. So those are the conversations we're going to have. Discuss the process to alignment and attain the uh, San Antonio 2020 and Diplomas goals. So the goals that we made as an individual school district, are they in alignment with what the mayor wants? Are they in alignment with the, score, the, the different uh, goals that we have under Diplomas and uh, SA 2020? We're going to also discuss to include how are we going to change? What specifically will, do we want to do? What do you think will be the overall benefit from changing or modifying what we're going to be doing? The part two of this activity is, as a whole group activity, we're going to come back. What we're going to do is select a reporter that would share what your ISD is doing. I'm talking in regards to your specific plan. What is yielding the best result? And how are you going to align the SA 2020 diploma goals? And this is what they are, the diploma goals and the SA <coughs> goals, and they're in your, in your notebook, excuse me, in your handout. So one more time, real quick, overall, we're going to split up. You've got your facilitator, you've got your school, excuse me, your classroom number. We're going to pick up our lunch on the way out. You're going to take your lunch with you to your classroom and or bring it back in here. We're going to have a timekeeper that around 10, 15 minutes before our activity, the 90 minutes are up, we're going to come back together, and I'm going to be real strict on the 15 minutes because then we have activity number two. So if you finish well, great. If you didn't, that, that's exactly what we're going to be doing to c continue those, uh, those uh, conversations. Any questions? All right, so I think if we dismiss, you're all going to stay here for just a little bit. If we can dismiss... Um, Harlandale, y'all can grab your lunch real quick.